Okay. Uh, do we remember where we left off from yesterday? Uh, it's Guru Maharaj. <clears throat> it's uh, chapter 17, Nadi Leela, 139, uh, 139 verse. Well, that was Chaitanya Charitamrita. Did you find the Chaitanya Bhagavad verses? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Um, um, one second. So, can you tell the verse numbers? Um, I could find you the go, page. Go, you go to 230. Mm, 230, uh, chapter 23, verse number 230. <laughs> so here there are no uh, verses, Gurmara, just like text they have uh, given. Um, they don't give you the purport, sir. No, Guru Maharaj, it's like a PDF I found in the Eastern Bhagavatri. Um, That's okay. I can read it from where, from my book. Okay. If the devotees won't be able to see it, then so. Okay. Yeah, the, the, purports, the purports are also there, but the, uh, okay. the, um, You know, the uh, texts are not there. The Bengali texts are not there. That's okay. So, Guru Maharaj, uh, can I share the Chaitanya Charita Amrita verses now? Um, no, because we're going to start here. And then okay. this will take these series of verses that, we'll, that we're doing will take us to the point where Chaitanya Charita Amrita is. See, these verses are preceding where we are in the CC. It's good. Because these are included only in Chaitanya Bhagavat, not in Chaitanya Charitamrita. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, we are at where the Lord arrives at the house of Chan Kazi. But here we're hearing about the devotees in Kirtan as they as they march on the house of Chan Kanti. So it hasn't, we haven't reached that point yet. Okay, Om Agyan Timirandasya Gina Jana Salakaya Chaksu Un Navitam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Gaina Maha Ma Um Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Smani Timirandasya Namaste, Saraswati Deve, Gauravani, Pacharya, Nenya, Vishnu, Smasuni, Avadi, Pasyatya, Deya, Satari, Ne. Vanshakalpa, Turu, Vishya, Kripa, Sindhu, Ve, Vichya, Patitanam, Pavane, Vyo, Vaishnave, Vyo, Namamu, Maha. Naisi, Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu, Bhutyananda. Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sri Vasudhi Gaur, Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Jaya Jaya, Sri Chaitanya, Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaur, Bhakta Vrinda. So for the last, uh, today is Monday, we started on Saturday. This is the third day, we're narrating the pastime of Lord Chaitanya uh, creating the, the civil disobedience movement against the Chan Kasi who tried to stop the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra Kirtan all over Nadia, Navadvi. And now Lord Chaitanya in the very, in the mood of Lord Nishringadev, he uh, organizes all the devotees and then people come from all over the universe to join the Kirtan. This kirtan is not an ordinary one, nor there will be ever be one like this one. When Lord Chaitanya organized the kirtan, people came from everywhere in the universe to be part of this, including the demigods who came in, came in disguise. And they were, as it says, there were millions of people in the kirtan marching on the house of Chan Kasi. It was like a huge wave of people. 
as was described, the, the crowd was so thick that if you threw a mustard seed, it wouldn't hit the ground. So the Vrindavan Das Thakur's narration is really detailed of what happens. And we'll get to where the Lord finally reaches, along with his devotees, at the house of Chan Kazi. So for those of you who have been with us, um, we'll, we'll continue to narrate the nectar. And for those of you who are just joining us, you can jump in. Okay, so the kirtan's going on. Lord Chaitanya is behind the lead dancers, which are uh, lead singers and dancers, which are Sri Advaita Acharya, Sri Nityananda, Srivas, Gadadhar are in the front dancing. And Lord Chaitanya is right behind them. And then behind them is millions and millions of people <laughs> holding torches, as it's described, the torch light that was produced by all the torches made it look like daytime, although it was night. They said if the sun, it mentions if the sun kind of came out, no one would be able to see the sun because the light of the torches were so bright. Uh, and it talks about how, how there was like, there was like so many mystical experiences here. They were holding the torches at the same time. They were holding oil pots in two hands to keep the torches lit with oil. At the same time, they were clapping their hands. <laughs> so <laughs> you can see how how the Lord transformed everything beyond the norm. And everyone else was transformed in it. So it goes on to say, while uh, performing kirtan, I'll read them the Bengali. E Matta Kirtan Kariya Sarvaloka Asavriya Deha Dharma Yata Dukha Soka. While uh, performing kirtan in this way, everyone forgot their bodily characteristics such as distress and lamentation. Gadgadga Gadagadiyata Keham Malasa Pure Kaharo Jivaya Nama Mata Vyakas Pure. Some people rolled on the ground and some slapped their limbs. Various words manifested on the tongues of some people. Kehabale evijati veta ge lakota lagipana ekana chindia belan mata. Someone said, where is that Kazi fellow? If I find him, we will tear off his head. <laughs> The devotees are fired up. Radha diya yaya keha pasadani karite keha pasadira nama kaliya matite. Some people ran to catch the atheist and some punched the ground while uttering the name of an atheist. Najani vakata janam radanga bhajaye Najani va mahanande. Who can say how many people played Murdangas? Who can say how many people sang in great ecstasy? Aina Prema Vrista Hoila Sarvana Diyaya Vaikunta Sevako Yaha Chaha Sarvataya. There was such a downpour of ecstatic love of God all over Nadia that even the inhabitants of Vaikunta hankered for it. Ye sukha vivala ajam ananta sankara hena rasa basa sarva nadia nangara. All of Nadia floated in the mellows of the ecstasy that overwhelms Brahma, Ananta, and Shiva. Ganga tira tira prabhu vaikuntera roy sangupanga astra padasare nachiyaya. The Lord of Vaikuntha, Lord Chaitanya, danced along the banks of the Ganga with his associates, servants, weapons, and confidential companions. Prithivira Andirnera Nahi Samuchaya Anandai Horla Sarva Dig Atamaya. 
The earth had never witnessed such ecstasies. The roads in all directions were filled with ecstasy. So try to picture what is happening. Millions of people dancing and chanting in Kirtan with raised arms, with torches lighting up the entire sky. And the sound of the Kirtan was tumultuous. Tila matra anachara hena bumi nai, parama utara hoila sarvatana tani. Those who were not the slightest misbehavior, I'm sorry, there was not the slightest misbehavior to be found anywhere. Each of those places became most sanctified. There's a short purport. All the places became sanctified by the influence of Harinam Sankirtan. Even places that were ordinary, such as the bodes of sense gratification, became transformed by kirtan. Nachiyaya yena prabhu goranga sundara, vediyaga yena chatur dika anuchara. As Lord Gurusuna danced along his followers on all sides of him, saying, Tui charina mana laguna ve saranga dara tua charine mana lagu laga hu re. That's a song. This is a song that's being sung. Chaitanya charira e ara sankirtana bhaktagana gaya nacha si sachi nandana. So here's the song. Let my mind be fixed at your lotus feet, O carrier of the bow. Let my mind be fixed at your lotus feet. As the devotees chanted in Lord Chaitanya's first kirtan procession, Sri Sachi Nandana danced. So there's a purport here, and I'll read. Carry of the bow in Sri Gauranga's first care time procession, there was a description, I think there was a prescription for fixing one's mind at the feet of Sri Ramchandra. According to the qualification of the devotees, some worship Vasudev, some worship Lakshmi Narayan, and some worship Sitaram. There is a necessity for manifesting different levels of service. According to the practitioners, progressive qualification. The devotees of the Lord are always detached from sinful activities that transgress morality. They're always eager to benefit themselves and others, attributing worldly abomination, incompleteness, insepidness, limitation and principles that deteriorate in the due course of time on the Supreme Lord the Supreme Lord's abode or the Supreme Lord's pastimes result in distorting the essential characteristics of eternal devotional service. So that's Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's commentary. So everyone benefited and all inauspicious things deteriorated and the essential characteristics of the Lord's abode and the Lord's pastimes um, manifested. <laughs> so, kirtana karena sabha takure rasane kun dige yai iha keha naha jane. As the devotees performed kirtan with the Lord, they forgot which direction they were going. You can imagine, huh? The kirtan was so absorbing and uproarious that no one knew where they were and where they were going. They were just going. The sound of Hari's name vibrated by millions of people penetrated the universe. This is the next verse. Everyone in Brahma Loka, Shiva Loka, and even Vaikuntha became filled with unlimited happiness of Krishna consciousness. Lakshakoti Loka Yaina Ye Kariya Hari Dwana Brahmanda Bedaya Yena Aina Matasuni Rama Loka Shiva Loka Vaikunta Pariyanta 
Krishna Sukha Puna Hoyla Nahitar Antra. Since the name of Hari was chanted loudly, the vibrations penetrated the 14 worlds. A bowl such as Brahma Loka, Shiva Loka, and beyond them, beyond them, yet beneath Goloka, the supremely opulent Vaikuntha Loka became filled with the ecstasy of Krishna consciousness. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. So he's performing this kirtan and the vibration is so powerful, it's reaching the spiritual world. Sam sparsada sova sarva deva oily dehite tekiya mochita hoila sabare sahite. So this is verse 246 if you want to follow along. All the demigods, along with their associates, came to see. They all fainted on seeing the kirtan. Chaitanya paya shani sarva deva gana narupa mai saya karina kirtana. When the demigods regained consciousness, they took human forms and joined the kirtan. Aja, Baba, Varuna, Kuvera, Deva, Raja, Yama, Soma, Adi, Yata, Deva, Samaj, Brahma, Sukha, Sarupa, Apurva, Dehi, Ranga, Sehola, Rupa, Chaitanya, Sangha, Demigods headed by Brahma, Shiva, Varuna, Kuvera, Indra, Yamaraj, and Soma saw those wonderful pastimes manifest spiritual happiness. So they themselves took on human forms to associate with Lord Chaitanya. This happens a lot. This is not something that is just rare. Many times, uh, Prabhupada has said, even in our kirtans, that sometimes the demigods come to perform, to, to witness our kirtans, and even um, take part in them. They disguise themselves and then appear where they look like just some other person that's there. They have that power to change forms, many of them, not all of them. So sometimes this happened a couple times in our is Iskan society, where Prabhupada indicated the demigods actually appeared in the in the event. Devanar ekatraka hoila harabale akasha puriya sabha mahadipa jwale. As the demigods and human beings chanted together the name of Hari, the light from the big torches filled the entire sky. Kadalira viksha prati duraya duraya purna gata dana durva dipa amrasare. There were banana trees, full water pots, rice paddy, durva grass, ghee lamps, and mango twigs at each and every doorstep. Nadia sampati varnite sakti kara. Asankya, Nagara, Gara, Jadvara, Vajara. Who has the ability to describe the opulence of Nadia, which consists of numerable houses, numerable towns, houses, race platforms, and markets? Ekajata Lokayate, Arbuda, Arbuda. Iha Sanka Kari Beka, Kun, Va, Abuda. There were hundreds of millions of people from each caste. What fool would try to estimate the number? So you can see in this narration, the narrator, which is the compiler, Vrindavan Das Thakur, is in ecstasy describing this custom. Avatiri, Avatiri Bena, Prabhu, Janiya, Vidata, Sakala Ekatra Kari, Turiena, Tata. Realizing the Lord would incarnate, the Creator had arranged that everything was present there. Sriya Yata Jayakara Diyabala Hari Taha Laksha Vatsare O Varnita Napari. Even in a hundred thousand years, 
I cannot describe the lady's vibrations of auspicious sounds and Hari's names. So ladies have that uh, way of uh, making these sounds. It's called so you some of the ladies they can try doing that and it's called lululing and it's done just to show auspiciousness when they are present at some auspicious event like that so here he says he can't describe the sounds that the ladies were making even if he tried to in a hundred thousand years. Ye sambare deha prabhu nachiya yaite tara arachita vritta na pare darite. Those who saw the Lord dancing down the road were unable to control their emotions. Se kuruna dehita, se karanda sunite, parama lampate pade kandiya bumite. On seeing such compassion, on hearing such crying, even the great Dipanchis fell to the ground weeping. So even the people who were in the most decrepit stage, state of existence, because even in places like that, there are people who are very, very low caste, low class, they were affected and were crying. Bola Bola Bali Nache Goranga Sundara Sarva Anga Sova Mala Ati Manohara. Sri Gora Sunda danced and called out, Chant! Chant! His body was decorated with an enchanting flower garland. Yagya Sutra Trikacha Vasana Paridana Dulaya Dusara Prabhu Kamala Nayana. The Lord wore a Brahmin thread and a dhoti with three corners tucked in. The body of the lotus-eyed Lord was covered with dust. <laughs> Mandakini kena prema dadara gagama gagmana chandre na loya mana dehi se vadana. Tears of love flowed from the Lord's eye like the currents of the Ganga. The minds of those who saw his face were no longer attracted to the wound. So sometimes Gorasandra is called, you know, he's, he's called, um, uh, let's see, what is the name? He's called Gorachandra sometimes. The beautiful golden moon. The current of ecstatic love was compared to the Mandakini, the Ganga and the heavenly planets. And the beauty of the moon was insignificant before the face of Sri Gaur Sundar. Sundara na satevani avirata dara atishina dehiyena mukutvara ahara. The thin stream of liquid that flowed incessantly from his nose, looked like tiny pearls, like tiny strings of pearls. Sundara chanchara kesa vitara bandana tahi mala tira mala atisu sobana. The Lord's beautiful curly hair was wonderfully bound and attractively decorated with garlands of jasmines. Janmane janmane prabhu dehi dana. Ridaya Rahuka A Kela Avarama. O Lord, please give us the benediction that this pastime may remain in our hearts, birth after birth. A Matta Varamage Sankala Bhuvana Nachiya Yayena Prabhu Si Sachi Nandana. All the world asked for this benediction as the son of Sana Sachi danced down the road. Priyatama Sange Ange Nachi Nachi Yaya Apane Nache Apache Vaikuntera Roy. The dear associates of the Lord danced in front, and the Lord of Vaikunta danced behind. 
Chaitanya Prabhu say Bhakta Bhavate Jane Yena Kara Bhakta Tena Kariya Apane. Lord Chaitanya knows how to glorify his devotees. He acts according to the desires of his devotees. So Mahaprabhu loves his devotees more than he one can begin to estimate. And he knows how to glorify his devotees. So if someone loves you and has great ability to glorify you, then that is the Lord. E Mata Mahaprabhu Nachie Nachite Nachete Sabara Saniti Aisena Ganga Pate. In this way, Mahaprabhu and his devotees dance down the road by the side of the Ganga. By Kunta Ishvara Nache Sarva Nadiyaya Chaturtika Bhakta Gana Puna Kirti Gaya. The Lord of Vaikuntha danced throughout Nadia as the devotees sang auspicious glories in the four directions. Hari Bala Mugda Loka Hari Hari Bali Re Nababasa Nava Rai Samara Bai Re O bewildered people, chant the name of Hari. Even Namabas delivers one from the fear of Yamaraj. Small purport. Chanting the name of the Lord without offense, yet with unmanifested knowledge of one's relationship with the Lord is called Namabas. I'll read that again. Chanting the name of the Lord without offense, yet with unmanifested knowledge of one's relationship with the Lord is called Namabas. Such chanting results in the liberation of the living entity. There is no possibility of experiencing distress in the course of non aparad but there is, I'm sorry, there is a possibility of experiencing distress in the course of non aparad That means if you're chanting with offense, you still may experience material distresses. But there is no possibility of experiencing the distress of Yamaraj's punishment in the course of Namabas. So Namabas is the second stage that comes by way of chanting the holy name. We start off with chanting in offense, and that's called Namaparad. As we continue to chant and very carefully understand and simultaneously avoid the offenses, we reach the state called Namabas. Namabas can be described in an analogy as the sun appears in the sky, but there are also clouds within the sky. Some of the clouds uh, appear to allow sun rays to project themselves through the clouds and come down to the earthly level. Although the entire sun cannot be seen, certain rays somehow or other become visible from those who are looking at the sun through the clouds on the ground. So in the same way, a glimpse of the nectar or the power of the holy name is manifested in Namabas and what is the result? One can achieve liberation in Namabas, but one cannot achieve the love of God in Namabas. Love of God only comes when one chants in what is called Sudanam. Sudanam is pure uh, chanting in loving devotion to the Lord without any offense and complete, complete absorption. And that is the stage that is uh, sought after by the devotees who practice seriously chanting of the holy name. We can all reach that stage of Sudanam, which is the, the highest stage of chanting, through continuous practice and through engaging in practical devotional service under the guidance of one's spiritual master. Uh, Srila Haridas Thakur, who is known as Sri Namacharya, has described in detail the different stages of chanting of the holy name. And he gives a complete and clear description of the symptoms 
that one undergoes or one exhibits when they are chanting on the level of sudanam or pure chanting. And that is, that is nicely explained in Sri Harinam Chintamani. So if you read Harinam Chintamani, as penned by Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Haridas's words take you through the different stages of chanting the holy name. And that is our ultimate goal. When we actually understand where progress in Krishna consciousness is made, it's made by perfecting our chanting. So this is where the devotees emphasize their time and energy to purify and perfect the chanting of the holy name. And therefore, they are not satisfied with chanting just a certain fixed number of round. They want to chant more and more. So next verse, this is verse number 270. Um, let's see here. This is a very long chapter, and it goes up to verse 536. We're at ch chapter 27, verse number 270. So we'll break when we get to the place where um, the Lord reaches the house of the Chankasi, and then we'll go back to the Chaitanya Charitamrita for more detailed descriptions of the interaction between Lord Chaitanya and Chankasi. A sabba kirtene nacha gora chandra brahmari sevaya yana para padma dwanda Gora Chandra, whose lotus feet are served by the demigods, headed by Brahma, danced in the midst of this chanting. Yanrapada Duli, Aitat Kutuhali, Sabai, Darila, Sire. So the meter changes now for the Bengali. So we'll have a different meter chanting. It goes, Natche Vishwambara, Jagat Ishwara, Bhagirata Tire Tire. Yanapada Duli, Harakuta Hali, Seva Dararila, Sire. Vishwambara, the Lord of the Universe, danced on the bank of the Ganga. All of the people there happily took the dust from his lotus feet on their head. <coughs> Apurva Vikara, Nayena Sudara, Hunkara Garjana Suni, Asiya Hasiya Sri Bhuta Tulia, Bali Hari Hari Bani. The Lord displayed wonderful symptoms of ecstatic love. Tears flowed from his eyes and he roared loudly. He raised his hands and smiled as he chanted the name of Hari. So now for a while, you're going to see a, a description of the Lord's expressions of loving devotion. Madanan Sudara, Gora Kevalara, Diyavasa Paridana, Chanchara Chikure, Mala Manuhare, Yena Deki Pachabana. The body of Gora was more beautiful than that of Cupid. The fine cloth he wore and the flower garden adorning his curly hair acted like the five arrows of Cupid. And then Bhakti Siddhanta's purport. The five arrows of Cupid are Samohana, illusion, Unmadana, intoxication, Sosana, evaporation, Tapana, affliction, and Stambana, detention. So these are the effects of being hit with the arrows of Cupid. Illusion, intoxication, evaporation, affliction, and detention. The five hours are 
There's another verse that describes these five arrows. And he gives the different, he did different Sanskrit here. Okay. So. Okay, so maybe we can uh, stop here and see if there's any comments or questions. So what we've been narrating is the kirtan as it's going through the streets and now we're hearing the beautiful description of the Lord's dancing and his appearance in the kirtan as he exhibits ecstasy in love of God. So as we understand, Lord Chaitanya is, he is Krishna, but he is in the mood of Srimati Radharani. So his love for himself in, in, in her mood is the highest expression of bhakti in existence. So in this kirtan, because Lord Chaitanya loved kirtan, Pleasing Lord Chaitanya means performing kirtan. As Prabhupada said, at any time, come together with a few devotees, with some few instruments and have kirtan. And this, in this way, you can please Lord Chaitanya. We understand from Shastra that to please the Lord is the goal of life. And so by performing kirtan, you are directly pleasing Lord Chaitanya and you're also furthering his mission of spreading the holy name. Kirtan is very powerful. Sometimes it's seen as just singing and dancing, but it's much more than that. That's the expression, but it is the way to offer our love and devotion our attention, our enthusiasm, our life in the service of the Lord by having kirtan. So kirtan can be done with three people or it can done, be done as Lord Chaitanya did it with millions. And so uh, those who are eager to perform kirtan will always be under the guiding hand of Lord Chaitanya's special mercy. Okay, so we'll stop here and see if there's any one would like to comment, maybe uh, explain or give some statements about Kirtan and your own experiences or just to comment on what is happening in this particular pastime, which was a rare pastime by the Lord, very rare. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj, for reading uh, from Chaitanya Bhagavat. Uh, it was really wonderful actually listening. I have heard this from first time. And uh, pastime has been described in uh, very much detail, actually, very beautifully explained. and. Uh, 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 Lord Chaitanya's beauty and uh, the kirtan they performed and how it was done and the kirtaniyas and the way it was written about the Nam Bhas and Nam Aprad and Shuddha Nam. Uh, uh, thank you so much. It was beautiful listening that. And devotees, if you have any questions, comments, reflections, please unmute yourself and ask uh, or uh, just type it in the chat box. I can read it for you. Thank you. Hare Krishna Maharaj. I will Please. Okay, Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Maharaj. Maharaj thank you uh, for the wonderful description uh, of the pastimes. I have a question. Uh, you mentioned that uh, in the Nam Abbas phase, uh, is it where you chant offense without offense? but without relation to the name or without relation to the Supreme Lord? I just wanted to clarify. It's, it, this. Says, it says without, without full knowledge. Ah, okay. Yeah, Bhakti Siddhanta uses the word unmanifested knowledge. In other words, on the higher stages of chanting, there is full 
absorption in devotion to the Lord, in understanding one's relationship with the Lord. But in this stage, uh, it's just a glimmer, that's the word glimmer, of the of love of God is being uh, expressed in Nama Bas stage. It's without offense, but it's not on pure chanting. Thank you, Maharaj. Yeah, if, if for, for further information on this particular subject of Nama Bas, you can go to, um, let's see, Madhurya Kandambini by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. And uh, in that, he explains there are two kinds of Nama Bas. The one is called Chaya Nama Bas. And the other one is, I can't remember the, the, the title, it's two kinds. And then there is an explanation of each of the types. I was explaining Chaya Namabhas, a shadow or a reflection, because Chaya means shadow, reflection of the name. One is getting a little, little bit of the mercy of the name. Thank you, Maharaj. Yes, I will. I will look that up. Thank you. Yeah, that's the that's the best scripture that I know is Madhurya Kandambini. There is a, there is a, some detail. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Except our humble obeisances, Guru Maharaj, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to uh, you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you for uh, reading of these pastimes of the Lord. It would be really nice to actually access the literature um, if we can get hold of these books and read it. That would be really wonderful. But my question is actually about Namabhas and uh, Namaprad. Which stages of bhakti, which verses of Shikshashtakam correspond to uh, Namabhas, please? Well, hmm. Hmm. Um, I don't remember any explanation correlating Namabhas with a certain stage of But if you understand the different stages and their symptoms, and then you understand what is Nama Vas and its symptoms, then you can get an idea from that correlation. So on the platform of Ruchi, that's the sweet taste that is coming through. Namabhas has a taste. It's, a, it's, it's sweet, but it's, it's not very full blown. It's like the bud of the flower of love of God. The flower hasn't manifested yet, but the bud is there. <laughs> so um, I don't recall ever reading or hearing that correlation being done. But it can be understood by the symptoms of each. Most of us are still chanting Nama Parad because to get out of Nama Parad is not so easy. You follow the 10 offenses and you avoid the, all those 10 offenses and you also avoid the 11th offense. And then you're pretty much free from Nama Parad. So when you're chanting with attention and although you haven't developed love of God, but you're still chanting with attention, you're pretty much 
you're bridging the border of uh, Nama Nama Bas. Because yeah. even a, a reflection of the of the beauty of the Krishna's holy name is so powerful that it can uh, cause one to experience ecstatic symptoms. So would we say that on the platform of Nishta, um, Nama Parad is uh, getting reduced more and more and we're entering into Nama Pass? I'm not gonna say that because I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, I got it, all right, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that would be speculation. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Uh, I have a question, Guru Maharaj, that, uh, you know, when we go on Harinam, uh, so I always like uh, listening this past time, it feels like because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Acharya, everyone such exalted devotees were there. And uh, uh, Harinam must have been really, really effective and must have attracted many souls. But uh, when we go for Harinam, I just feel sometimes that Either there isn't enough purity in our heart to, you know, to uh, take that name, take the name of the Lord, and uh, maybe the association uh, are surrounding us is all material world, and people are like drinking, eating, and you know, enjoying life. Many a times there is only two or three of us. Not many devotees are there. Many not instruments are not good enough, or uh, we are not even singing properly. Have so you how, gone to Have you gone to the Saturday night Harinams in in London? No, Guru Maharaj, never. Saturday night Harinams in London for years was traditional. We get a minimum of fifty devotees. Okay, I've never heard of it. Okay, maybe I might try, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, I don't know if they're still having them because of the COVID, but um, not now. Yeah. Yeah, but when we do Harinam. Uh, when you get absorbed in the hurry, you don't even know what's going on around you. Devotees get absorbed in the chanting because the chanting is so tumultuous that the sound vibration just and, and ca and captures your attention. You become oblivious to what's going around. You may notice it, but you don't even that you don't even say, that you don't even think about it. You just, it's just there, you know. That have, yeah, that, that's an ordinary experience that all devotees practically have in the Rao and Hari now. Well, these mm -hmm. are absorbed in the chanting and it happens all the time. And the Hari, Nam, the Hari Nam in London is so, so famous throughout ISKCON. It's one of the famous, uh, that even Back to Godhead did a large article on the Hari Nama in London with many, many photos. And I've been on many of those Hari Nams and it's, uh, we pull in so many people from the sides that come in who are out there, they're out there doing their partying or night clubbing or whatever. And they join the Hari Nam. Many times we had people come and sing and dance with us for a little while. Sometimes people stay even longer. And then, and then you know, Soho Street does Harinam every day. They go out when there was no COVID. They were going out morning Harinam and afternoon Harinam. And they would do two Harinams a day. Wow. Yeah, maybe try. My best experience of Harinam was in Slovenia, my first uh, retreat, uh, which we did about two, three hours Harinam uh, with you, Guru Maharaj, and that was just wonderful. I never experienced um, that Harinam anywhere. <laughs> like, it was so, so beautiful. It was really nice. Yeah, the environment's a little more favorable here. So, yes, yeah. Like that. So the devotees are you know, always ready to jump into Harinam. This is a Harinam temple because Lord Chaitanya is here as, as Panchatattva deity. So, so the, the leaders here are always thinking how to keep the Harinam going. Absolutely. Thank you. So come Thank on you. over. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe next year, hopefully, maybe this year, if lockdown opens and uh, government allows us to travel, then definitely as soon uh, we'll be doing Harinam with you, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the devotees are getting ready to do it here again soon. Yeah. So we got Prema, Prema Bhati has written something. Maybe you can read it. Yes, Guru Maharaj. So Mataji is saying, I remember being very attracted and curious about the first Arinam I saw. They were probably not the best singers, but that's not what attracted me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't take singing lessons. We just get out there and <laughs> sing. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, you know, it's just, just engulfs the mind and the heart. It's empowered by Lord Chaitanya. If you do Harinam, you're getting Lord Chaitanya's empowerment automatically. I have a question about Harinam Guru Maharaj. In these days of COVID, it is so very difficult to, to get people to come out of their homes and come together for Harinam. Is it advisable for just one person to go out with kartals and sing the holy names or that's not advisable? <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> I would like to do it, Guru Maharaj, because I'm hardly able to get anyone, but I want to do it. At the same time, I'm hesitant, wondering whether this is uh, something approved. Well, if you can go out and do it, then some maybe somebody will join you. <laughs> Jai! <laughs> That's wonderful to know. Thank you so much. That feels like encouragement. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, just stay in one place and with the pair of cartels and sing. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Our glory is to Srila Prabhupada, our glory is to you. Uh, I just wanted to uh, to share how uh, inspiring it was to, to hear about this kirtan. And, and it really made me think that uh, how much we have a tendency, and especially I have a tendency <laughs> to make things uh, so complicated. Uh, but um, as I heard that uh, the devotees just followed Lord Chaitanya and just sang and, and really nothing is important when, when someone can engage in, uh, in chanting. And uh, yeah, it, it, it was, I mean, I, I'm just wondering <laughs> how could I ever possibly do this, but I hope I will manage somehow because, because it's so nice. Well, actually, this is the history of our movement. Our movement grew by Harinam. It grew by Harinam and book distribution. Harinam started it off and then book distribution came and, and then everything expanded more and more. Yes, I don't know, somehow I, I, I overthink uh, many things and uh, I don't know, because uh, sometimes when I I read the theory of something, then, then just uh, when I'm, I'm present, I, I start to analyze. <laughs> and somehow this uh, makes uh, so many things so complicated. Yeah. Uh, Stop analyzing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, 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 I know it's just somehow, uh, how to say, uh, obviously there, there is a, uh, an importance that we learn so somehow I should use it but in a proper way <laughs> mm -hmm. so the probably in, I, the world is in Budapest doing Harinam uh, not Harinam now but um, uh, we again started uh, uh, an event called uh, Kirtan Jam 
which is uh, it's a broadcasted online oh, okay. Bajan Skirtans. So we can do it now. But uh, as, it, as the weather gets warmer, the devotees will be out there. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it, it's uh, all the time it depends on uh, what the government uh, uh, allows to do. So, yeah. Well, Lord Chaitanya is the boss. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, I, I leave it, uh, this case, to the uh, leaders of the temple. <laughs> And uh, and let's see how we can manage. But uh, um, we have a good we have a good group there. They're 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 ready. They they're ready to go. Yes, yes. Everybody is very enthusiastic, and uh, also uh, the preaching department here is. Uh, they are are so enthusiastic, and they have uh, very very good ideas. So they also started to organize the the Sunday feast programs now. And uh, even yeah. uh, though there are all these restrictions, uh, there are quite powerful kirtans <laughs> in these programs. If you want to keep this atmosphere from going to hell, you have to, you have to bring in the sound of the holy name. Otherwise, the, the whole material world would just become like hell. <laughs> it's already <laughs> getting like that. but. The devotees are free from all the hellish as long as they stay fixed in their Krishna consciousness. But chanting is the main thing. Yes, uh, that's for sure. So thank you very much for inspiring us all the time for more and more chanting and better and better chanting. So hopefully we'll be, by... We'll be reading some more of Lord Chaitanya's Kirtan. This, this narration in Chaitanya Bhagavad is really phenomenal. It's in such detail. Yes. Thank you very much. Hey. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Haribo Satyadarayan. Hare Krishna. 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 One of the best. Well, one of the best. And all in one. Book distribution, Prasad distribution, Kirtan. <laughs> yeah, Prabhachan. Yeah. And there was that one story where the devotees were singing and dancing in Harinam in the, in the Rathiyatra parade. And one lady... She came from the side, she saw that she heard the chanting and she ran up. She just happened to go up to uh, Kripa Moya Prabhu. I think he was leading the kirtan. And she said, what are you guys singing? I can't stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> what is that you're singing? It just makes me cry. <laughs> So that's a real ec ecstasy, isn't it? <laughs> well, her heart is open in the ending. Yeah. She entered it into when the heart is a little bit open, it transforms people. <laughs> even even though unknowingly. <laughs> yeah, that's And uh, also, once a month, we have a, not now, but we have a Harinam uh, Manor and uh, Sosti together. Hmm. And it's yeah, called Maha, Maha, yeah, Maha, Maha, Maha Harinam in London. Yeah, that's nice. I always look forward to them. Yeah. We had some really amazing Harinams. I have one of them on video. And it's one of the more outstanding ones. And it was video. It was, it was just amazing. Um, you want me to play it for you? <laughs> 
Yes, you can, Guru Maharaj. If you have video ready, you can. I will share. Yes, you can share. You can, you can play. How about uh, Bhavanya? You think I should play it? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Sure, definitely. You want me to play it now? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Sure. But it's long. It's like an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I can play a little bit of it. Uh, yeah, you can put. Can you hear the sound and the see the see the video at the same time? If I do it. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Before that, uh, before sharing, there is a share sound button. Um, if you click on that, uh, then the sound will also be shared. Okay, so do I go first to the video or do I do anything before that? Um, first, you open the video, Guru Maharaj, and then you come on to Zoom and share screen button. Uh, if you click on share screen. Um, okay. Now, this is a pretty, pretty unorthodox Harinam. So you'll see the unorthodoxity being expressed here. <laughs> it's quite different than what you would expect for a Harinam, but it is Harinam. Let's see. Let's see, where is it? I think I took it off my computer and I put it, I put it, on my hard drive, mm. so it's not on my computer, I'd have to find it on my hard drive. I thought I had it on the main one, but I don't. Okay, Guru Maharaj, next time maybe. Yeah, it's a little, I can have to find the hard drive and then find where it is on the hard drive. Um, would you like to see another one? Sure, Guru Maharaj. Okay, here's a kirtan you might like. How do we share it? Click on the screen, Guru Maharaj. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
special thanks to Hillary Rushman. Good <laughs> Maharaj, we can just hear that uh, last part. Um, yeah, I can't seem to shut it off. <laughs> I think the video got ended now. Yeah, well, I we we, we moved it forward about forty minutes, but anyway. <laughs> it was very wonderful, Guru Maharaj. So yeah, that was two thousand seven in in Pune. Yeah. And there was uh, about 3,000 devotees there. <laughs> 